guys, it's Shannon and Paul, and welcome to the Collector Corner. That's right. Where today we are going to be opening up some awesome Dungeons and Dragons 40th anniversary figures. Yes, we are. So we have three different figures today. I don't know how many total there are in this collection. Six. You, six. Six. Okay, <laughs> Paul's Paul's <laughs> holding up random. If you could have seen it, <laughs> Paul's holding up fingers back here, and he's like, you know, doing like weird random, like he's in a rock band kind of fingers. I have no idea what he's doing. <laughs> Okay, so there are six total. Do we have all six? We do not. All six are not out yet. This is the ah. first wave, so you're getting the first three characters. Nice. Okay, so the first three characters, we have Diana, Bobby, and... Uni. U Uni? Uni. And Hank. Yep. Is it going to be Uni or Uni? Yeah, it's Uni. <laughs> been watching Hell's Kitchen too often. Yeah. So these look pretty awesome. Now, I'm going to let Paul pick the first one to show you, and he's actually going to be opening all three because he is so excited. Dungeons and Dragons are like his thing. Yeah, I am. Okay, I'm going to start here. I'm going to move these out. So here's the artwork on the package. It looks great. Um, so these are from the, the 40th anniversary is of the Saturday morning cartoon. Okay. Which, just a little bit of history, started in 1983, ran through 1985, three seasons, 27 episodes total. <laughs> Wasn't around... For very long, they made far too few of them. They were awesome. So um, this is going to come with Bobby, Uni, the Barbarian Club, and a die. A 12-sided yeah. die. So that's going to be kind of fun. Um, let's see here. All right. All right. Figures are pretty substantial feeling. Uh, they're in tissue paper bags. Kind of fun. So here is oh. here's Uni. So Uni is a baby unicorn and it becomes Bobby's pet slash companion. My little pony. Yep, the head swivels. Oh. This is like the original My Little Pony. Yeah. No cutie mark. Um here's the club for Bobby. And ooh, cool. Okay, the 12-sided die is like a mottled red, like a crimson and black mix. So, pretty cool. So, you know it's a six with the dot right there. Nine is there. So, a 12-sided 12 12 die. die. I wish it was glittery. Well, that would be cool. I like glittery die. I cross that for So, here's the Bobby figure. He is pretty cool. So, he's wearing his little barbarian boots. Um, Those look really articulated. They do, yeah. Let's see. The legs, I don't feel like they... They don't move... Like in, like you can't you can't rotate the legs. You can bend at the knees. The knees are jointed in a couple different ways. Elbows are jointed. It's like the wrists move, head moves. All right, so he has the helmet with the horns, the crossed leather harness, the briefs. He can hold his club. His club is really powerful. Like it's probably the most powerful melee weapon that they have. Um, can cause earthquakes and stuff. So, he's supposed to stand with like a wide stance, I'm guessing, the way that yes. this one foot is. I wish they came with display stands. They show that on the package with him standing like, okay. maybe not quite that wide. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Okay, that's pretty cool. Kind of like an action pose. Like, he, he, he like, a lot of time would raise the club up over his head with both hands. He has cool and then, freckles. And then do like an overhead smash. So he was the youngest of the group. He is only nine years old and he is the little brother of Sheila. Sheila is going to come in wave two. Okay. She was the thief. Ah. So cool. Cool figure to start with. Next I'm up. I'm picking Diana for you next. Diana. That's the one I was going to go with next. Okay, cool. So she is the acrobat. Now, fun fact, she's also going to come with a 20-sided die, which is the best die. Um, <laughs> fun fact is... The character classes that the kids are in the cartoon were not available in regular Dungeons & Dragons. They had to have advanced Dungeons & Dragons to get these classes. Ah, interesting. Oh, cool. Okay, this is pretty cool. So here's the 20-sided die to start with. Fun fact, we have several gallon-sized Ziploc bags filled with dice. We do. <laughs> oh, funny. This one looks like a cape. Um... All right, here's our Sheila figure. Diana. Diana. Diana figure. <laughs> Sorry about that. Our Diana figure. She's awesome looking. Much taller than Bobby. Yes. Um, so she's, I think, 15 years old, 14 years old. 
something like that, in the show. Hank, Hank was the oldest at 15. Um, she's wearing the furry briefs and top. She and Bobby are probably from the same barbarian clan. But she's an acrobat. She has the javelin staff, which can shrink down to like one foot long or six inches long. And so she can carry that easily, but it can extend out to as much as like six feet long. So it'd nice. be like a bow staff. So that would be the normal staff right there. But they included this as well, because like this was like one of her signature moves. She'd get in a battle and she'd start swinging it around. Ah. And it would like, you know, have like the propeller blade effect. Nice. Kind of thing. So that's pretty cool. That is cool. I like the uh, metallic accents on her figure. I do too. Yeah, she has the gold belt, armbands, and then the uh, necklace. Um, we should probably, well, okay. It's yep. way off center. Oh, okay. It is. For those of you that like things centered, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> you can try and center the stuff. Hank. So he was my favorite character in the show. Um, you know, he was the leader of the group oldest guy and also he had the bow and arrow which basically did everything um he had the energy bow well that's a pretty handy thing to have well the yeah bow that does everything. it kind of does so it would it would fire arrows but not only that the arrow like it's like you think okay it's going to shoot it's going to shoot an arrow it's basically going to shoot a lightning bolt um because it doesn't shoot physical arrows it shoots energy arrows but then you, he could use it to climb, like it could shoot like an energy rope, or uh -oh. it could be like an energy cage, or <laughs> like it was like a trick. It was like Hawkeye, basically. <laughs> um, now so, we know where Hawkeye got it from. Yeah, so cool looking figure. I feel like he's based off the Robin Hood archetype. Has like the green leggings on, the uh, olive green tunic, wide leather belt, forest green hoodie. <laughs> we didn't know what a hoodie was back then. Now we do. That is true. Back then it was just a shirt with a hood. Yeah. <laughs> Not a hoodie. Okay. Oh, this is actually really awesome. So he comes with the eight-sided die. Probably my favorite shaped die. So here's the bow, just by itself. And here is it, like... Once it, once it pulls back, it activates the bow and turns the bow into energy, and it forms an energy arrow. Nice. Now that's going to be like a heavy damage energy arrow, so let's, let's see. See if I can get him to hold his bow. And let me see. Is he holding? Yeah. He kind of holds it between both hands. Okay. So I like the articulation with the wrists and everything. You can kind of get the figures to do what you need them to do. So he's holding the bow there. And let's see. There, the joints are like nice and stiff here. Yeah, and he's pulling it back like that. Sort of. He can actually supposedly hold it. This piece right here. Oh, okay. Actually goes in his hand. Hmm. How does that work? According to the picture. <laughs> All right, show us the picture. Here's the picture. So okay. in the picture, he's gripping the arrow or the bow. Okay. Maybe turn his hand down, pointed down. You have his hand to the side, which is probably oh, yeah. why it's not going. That's probably what it his is. His hand has to like be f turned down. Like that? No. See, we're seeing the back side of his hand. You, <clears throat> you have it, so we're seeing his fingers. Oh, yeah. No, no. It's not you have to take it out. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. Turn his yeah, his hands turn that way. Now he's gonna hold this here. Oh, okay. And then wait, it's supposed to go in front of him. Yeah, not as easy as it looks, is it? <laughs> <laughs> and then he can hold it here if you turn his hand. Whoops, I didn't oh, there you go. All right, hand. that's pretty good. No, that's, that's good enough. We know. We know what's going on. <laughs> so there we go. All right. That's actually really cool. That is cool. I like that one a lot. Okay. It's like you need two hands on your bow and arrow. You can't do it one-handed. Yep. So. so there we go. The first three figures. I love the size difference. It's like Hank's a little bit taller than Diana, and they're both much taller than Bobby. We're going to we're gonna do this. We're going to make Paul move so we can move the tripod. There we go. Okay, there now go. they're centered. Here, let's even be fancy and zoom in. There you go. 
<laughs> then you can see him a little bit better. Okay. okay. You have to pick a favorite. Ooh. Which one would be your favorite? Well, I like all of them. Okay, um, which would be your favorite character on the show out of these three, but then which would be your favorite figure that they made? So I'm just going to confess, I really didn't like Bobby and Uni on the show. Okay. I, I actually couldn't stand them. Um, <laughs> Hank would definitely be my favorite. Diana would be my close second favorite. Okay. I'm really looking forward to the second wave where we're going to get Presto, the, magi- the wizard, uh, Eric the cavalier, and um, Sheila the thief. Sheila would probably be my second favorite of the group. Okay, but we're talking about these three. These three, it's going to be Hank. Okay. The energy bow was just too, too and cool. Figure and character? Oh. Because he could have been your favorite character from the show, but which figure? I, I think Diana's going to be my favorite figure. Okay. Yeah. Her, her her staff is a lot easier and a lot less complicated to get their gold <laughs> than his bow. So, But they're all awesome. Okay. Uh, just want to let you guys know, I ended up buying these at like a, a Target, I think. Okay. Um, so these aren't like special collector order things um hasro is the people that are making these so they're pretty awesome figures and i'm just really excited that we're getting some dungeons and dragons figures again it's been like two decades yeah long time all right i like hank the best don't like don't like bobby or uni how about you guys <laughs> leave a comment down below hope you guys enjoyed the video and we'll see you guys next time bye guys